Hey the boy, welcome to the channel and back game coming yeah, you guys with a Ouija update slash deck profile for my uh, for the Arkansas bit the Ouija so that happened on the tenth of October. Uh, I got back, this is actually M Day. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to update the guys. Anyway, uh, we'll have Tech Tuesday and then after Tech Tuesday I will have a bunch of pack openings uh, and stuff that I got that. Uh, what I do, I'll get into the deck. Uh, as you can plainly see, I'm playing Eva Swarms. Uh, there you go, should I stand fine? Uh, I'm going through the monsters real quick. Very standard monsters. I play three Calcreon. Mm, down a bit. There we go. And then I play three Castor. Three Mangigar. Uh, three Hilly Drop. And then two Mangigar. Uh, two Sahabog. Uh, one rabbit, one my hoe. Uh, onto and that was it for monsters. For spells, I played one Mogeki, uh, one book, three pandemic. Uh, this bed didn't change very much from my last one. Uh, I put tosses, three world out, wing, compass, bottomless, and song. Uh, I did not play trencher this time. Uh, I found it being very bad with the halbogs and stuff, thunderbuds. I think we'll maybe change it back to the Thunderbuds. Uh, it's, it's a thing. I uh, played one faction, a macro, emptiness, two mind crush. Mind crush was good all day. It was kind of a tech card I used. Uh, it was very nice though. I'm totally glad I played it. Uh, two breakthrough. And three mirror falls. Uh, one. I would probably play it. Two mirror falls and two storming if I had them, but I I traded mine up in the last regions and I uh, just never picked them up since. Never played three finish, so I had like five effect negators in the main deck without Unico. Uh, my matchups I played two Necros, two Shadar. No, I played two Necros, one Shadar, one BA. One Horatic Beast, one seven, and then one wow, my opponent didn't show up. It was seven rounds. I ended the day X full, no, X three. I won full, lost three, so it'd be X three, I think. Uh, lost to a Necros player, a Shadal player, and a BA player. I played three Ophion, one Bahamut, an exact on night. One uh, diamond. I don't know. I like diamond. Diamond's very strong, but it's very fragile at the same time. Thinking of ways how I can back him up more. Uh, Obedient Dragon, Key Beater, Cow Gorgon, uh, Excalibur, 1 1, Castell, Dwarf, uh, Potamus, and Wap City and Berserk. Uh, no Noden. I didn't have time to get Noden, and when I got that, I was going to buy Noden, and then put him in the deck, but the price thing didn't even sell Yu-Gi-Oh product, oh, so it was a handful of singles, and that was it, so that price just kind of sucked for Yu-Gi-Oh wise, it was very big in Magic and video games, I know that now, this was also my first time going out of state, uh, side deck, two maxis. Three MSTs and one Twister for Kalees. Uh I cited the MSTs in two games. And I cited Maxi. I want to say three times. Once against the Necros player. Because I was going to go for, uh, second. And he made me go second because it was. I, I always cite these in against them because they always feel. I'm gonna have the Ophion turn one, so they always make me go second, so they can get like a uh, Valcom failed. So I side those in against the Necros players. Uh, side in the MSTs against the Bunny Abyss player and uh, Shadal player at game three because I beat him game one, game two he side in. Uh, 
it's like a floodgate, it's like a side in mistake. And for some odd reason, he played Decree. So I had side these in out the Decree. And Twister, I never side in at all. Uh, so I had two Chaos Trap Boards for out Denko. Side so in pretty much every game except for the uh, Servant and. How is it called? Um, Horotic Beast. I decided two Mind Drain. I decided this in twice against the Necros player. I've seen a lot of people playing Cyphers, but I did not have to play against them. So I didn't actually worry that much about it. I played two Late Man, Taste of Towers, Cosmos. Didn't play against either. So I didn't side that in all day. And then I side the three shower mail. And every time I side this, I just didn't see it. Which is weird, because I would always side all three of them and just never see them. And that actually cost me a game against the uh, Shadal player that beat me. Uh, well, I have a field of exact. I have a field of Ophion. And Castell that I bounced the construct with. So he had no material. So I had Ophion. Uh, uh, Castell and a diamond, and my opponent goes Wagaki, it's, and I go Pandemic to save the Ophion. Saves Ophion, okay? It destroys the other two. Like I said, they're very fragile because the Pandemic can't protect them. And he went ahead and then he flipped the dragon he had set. That was careful, you know, and I had diamond to protect it, uh, to stop it, but he killed diamond, so like, you know, I had Ophion out there, he bounced the Ophion. And then he made a construct, dropped BLS, and a. Uh, what the hell is that thing's name? Uh, Shakanaga. That's his name. And just kind of pushed the game. So that's kind of how I lost to him. But anyway, guys, that was my deck. Uh, I have a hero deck that my brother pirated. He got 44th place. Uh, my other brother played the Osenjus, and he got 38th, and he actually tore his deck apart, so I can't, he yeah, has that profile, uh, unfortunately, but I can give you guys a Yosenju deck profile, I can build mine, and give you guys that if you want to see it, uh, and then I got 28th place playing the Eva Swarm deck I just showed you. Uh, unfortunately, there was only eight invites given out, so it was a very uncomfortable time. A lot of the people were just calling judges over stupid things. Like, I had a, against the Bunny Abyss Pearl, I had a set Macrocosmo and a Heliotrope. I attacked with the Heliotrope to attack Ball Ball. I'm down to like 700, so the Ball Ball's effect would kill me. I go attack. Declaration of the attack, activate Macro. And dude had to call a judge over just to see if I, that I could do that, which is stupid because it's obviously you can. It's the declaration of an attack, not doing damage to that. So he was just being a whiny prick, but you know everyone was on that toad. It was very hunger gamey, but all in all, it was a good time. So I'm gonna catch you guys later.